Let me ask you a question in light of that thing that was in the paper this morning. You had sent out instructions to uh, to keep Oakland cool as such because the police were ready and prepared to for the Panthers. And to uh, use restraint and uh, we're asking the black community general uh, not to respond to the vicious attacks that the police are making upon our people. Uh, we feel that Chief Gaines and uh, Mayor Redding uh, would like to uh, provoke the community in responding violently so that they will have an excuse to come into our community and brutalize and murder our people. Do you think the action this morning at Panther headquarters is representative of uh, the general feeling within the department or just the acts of several men? I think uh, what happened this morning is the uh, modus, opera uh, modus operandi of the uh, police. I say this based upon the fact that the police are not uh, responding uh, emotionally or uh, on the spur of the moment. Uh, Ten months ago or twelve months ago now, uh, the police shot up our office on 58th and Grove Street. I had witnesses to this, but uh, it's difficult to report one criminal to another criminal. Uh, it was not reported to the police department. Um, so it's nothing new for the police to uh, provoke uh, black people in our community. They do it every day, and this is why that the solution that the Black Panthers offer uh, to the uh, people, uh, the citizens in general, is to, to stop this kind of action, is to, uh, for the police to withdraw from the community. If the police were to withdraw from the community and the black community control its own uh, police institution as well as all the other institutions within our community, uh, we feel that the law and order would exist and our peace. Do you feel uh, confident you'd be able, you'd be released on bail? What was presented in the trial by either side? Or that? No, that's why I'm sure that it was a comp. I respect, uh, oh, Mr. Greer. Uh, Mr. Greer was a paid man, I believe, by the uh, DA's department. Uh, he was held in protected custody at uh, Lake Merritt Hotel, and uh, he stated that he had, uh, well, there's information that he had quit his job or he hadn't worked for some time, and that I think that the uh, DA's department was paying his way. I think that it was uh, strictly a, uh, a, a Judas-type uh, sellout. In terms of the verdict again. Well, it will only affect it in this respect that uh, we've constantly maintained that this is the conduct and the attitude of the uh, uh, certain members of the police department and that they're running uh, roughshod over the rights of the black community. Uh, we have filed a suit in the federal court under the Civil Rights Act, and we intend to continue and prosecute that case. I, I, um, I understand that the police about uh, the community, both black and white community. We've, <coughs> we've been dedicated to law and order ever since the origin of the party, and that uh, it hasn't stopped now we, we're asking, uh, we've asked in the past, and the opportunity is still open to uh, Chief Gaines and the mayor to uh, negotiate with the Black Panther Party, and we're willing to talk, and uh, as always, that uh, our communication lines are open, and that uh, we would like to uh, have some peaceful solution to the crucial problem uh, throughout uh, the black community. Uh, today, or uh, when they fired into our office, it's hard to say that it's difficult to deal with rebel rousers. Uh, first, uh, you have to civilize and tame them or socialize them. Uh, it seems that uh, they have no respect for law and order. They have no respect for the values of man. And uh, they, they seem to be uh, very um, unsocialized. And they need uh, first to be taught the basic values of humanity. Now, uh, as far as the Black Panther Party is concerned, we're, will we're willing to open up schools uh, throughout the community and, uh, and teach the uh, police the law and also the other government officials. Uh, we can teach them the nature of our, uh, the needs of our community, and we, will, uh, we would like to see a peaceful uh, solution because we don't want to see anyone killed or hurt. Um, this is on either side. I think it's unfortunate when uh, people are, when men... Can I, can I keep... Say, brother, you don't have to keep quiet. We have been trying to keep out of the press, but what the, what's happening is that the police forces of the state of the country are moving down.
before I was arrested was all uh, dedicated to seeing to it that Huey P. Newton is set free. And I plan to go back to that with uh, a little bit of rededication to it. Come here, Jerry. Uh, my part um, was in ducking bullets and to see to it that the public becomes aware of what's being done to this man. Um, we haven't changed in that regard. We intend to uh, rededicate ourselves to that effort and to work hard on it and to see to it that Huey P. Newton is set free. or uh, associates, which is showing them a bit more respect than they have shown for him. I'll tell you what I hope happens to it. You well treated, Albert? Yes. Show the party uh, to the public before he criticizes uh, the, the uh, problems during your that detention. Was just a notice, though, wasn't it? Just well, a notice. Uh, the only problems are <clears throat> can believe in law and order. We believe not in law and order in terms of fascism and justice, and we all we believe this is what we want. But we're saying that, well, like the party with the community control of police petition. Now, this is very legal to get registered voters to sign the petition to vote in a new community control of police, decentralized police department, you know, where the people actually control, place a proposition on the ballot. Now, say the majority of the people vote in. You see, now that's what we're getting. We're getting the majority of the signatures even on the petitions even before we go to the ballot. Then the majority of the people can't actually, in fact, vote. After they voted in, say the police department said, well, we're not removing ourselves. Then that police department will be officiating itself as fascist. They presently have fascist tactics now, of course. But then at the point where it officiates itself as fascist, in this manner where it denies the people's right to vote and vote out and vote in new systems for their future safety, security, and happiness, then I would automatically advocate over guerrilla warfare upon that illegal police department, you see. But you don't feel we're at that point yet? I don't feel we're at that point yet, no. I don't. I think that it's very necessary for even the radicals in the streets to see this. <laughs>